hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to make the order management system in laravel 9 e-commerce project okay so guys now let's log in to our admin dashboard and fetch all the orders or sales okay so guys now let log out first from here from the user account and let's log in as an admin okay so let's log in admin at gmail.com password hit enter successfully logged into admin dashboard and now guys let's name as orders so you can get back and let's close everything everything closed first up guys let's go to our resource views and inside layout we have a inc inside the inc admin folder admin folder we have a sidebar blade.php and inside that sidebar only we have all the side links okay so here you see that sales option so instead of sales let's make it as orders done and the href link you have to link it so let's link with the url function admin will be the prefix forward slash orders okay so same as we have done for users we have to do for admin also okay so now guys let's save and close this file and let's go to routes web.php and move to your admin routes so our admin routes is defined by prefix admin okay done and now guys let's move below let me minimize this and here you see the route i'm going to create this route so we can use this controller route itself let's copy and paste done and let's remove unwanted things which we don't require admin is a prefix so you can delete that we don't need only orders we require so inside admin we go to orders and now here you see that we have a controller path so it goes to admin folder and we need to go to our order controller okay and then you are going to orders url index function named named in your order controller so we don't have an order controller let's create the order controller guys all set and now let's create the controller php artisan make colon controller where inside admin folder forward slash order controller hit enter controller created successfully so guys now you can just go to that controller path and check before that let me close the terminal let's go to app http controller admin inside admin we have a order controller perfect so now guys you need to create a route i mean function let's copy this function name that is index and you go back to your public function the function name is index and return and view the page so we have already done for the front end user dashboard right so you can watch in the previous video and now guys let's go to admin folder inside admin we require orders folder inside that orders index blade.php so we we are not going to repeat it again guys so we will copy all the things from the users dashboard okay that means front end side so we have already worked on this index and view the same data we are going to copy and paste in our admin folder so if you have not watched guys please watch out the previous two parts that is 42 and 43 then come back to this part 44 okay so yep let me copy and paste here inside admin folder copied pasted perfect so we have reached here guys and then it goes to index blade and now let's see here what are the variables we have used so it's only one variable that is orders guys okay so let's take this orders and it is paginated also so make sure you are adding pagination let's get back to our order controller and type the variable orders is equal to your order model colon colon and view the where condition and then get the data all set and now you need to send this data using compact function compact function in that orders 
and now inside this where condition we will be checking the orders of current date only today's date so let's tell created underscore at which is today date okay today date okay so let me paste here and use a carbon colon colon now function so it will give today's data okay and need to import it illuminate supports carbon so we have imported guys and now guys you need to import this order model also so let's import imported and now you can get back to your index with this order variable and we go there and we already have coded it okay and we are using this links right so let's just check and here you see we are using get method it's not get method you have to use paginate of 10 records it should be paginating it now you can get back to your index that's it let's refresh to our orders so go to your orders cool but this is showing in different way let's extend the layout correctly so it should be inside admin okay let's refresh done guys so we are getting all the data so you just need to design all your card borders and all let's get back and just use the card design okay so in the categories you can go any of your admin template design you just need to copy this and get back and you paste here so paste all set and you can show here my orders and this is a back button which we don't require it okay so you can remove it and then the table response we require just minimize that okay so here we have perfect divs so we don't require to remove any of the div let's save and now refresh perfect so now guys we need to get the correct orders okay so when you go to your database in orders we don't have today's orders so it's showing no orders available okay so for that let me just check the date okay let's go to our created at here you see that 9 11 and then here is the 19 and 17 then 15 15 15 so let me copy this 15 date guys and just get that 15 i mean these three records of this 15 date so i'm going to use static method let's get back to the order controller and paste here comment that is this done and uh, now guys oops i have missed here you need to use where date okay so where date will check the correct date exact date whatever you give so now you can get back so let's refresh here and you will find the data refresh perfect so we have got all the three records of date 15 order date 15 okay now and just change this from static to carbon now and today this is 22 guys so i just want to change this last record to 22 date 22 okay so it will be 22 and this last date i want to make it to 22 done guys and now if you refresh on today's date it will show two records perfect so here you see there is no static date data has come all set guys and now let's get started with view order okay so get back to your blade index blade let's go to our index blade.php a table here is our action and this is the button okay so before this we need to add an admin prefix so admin orders and then the order id okay and we have already copied the page from the previous part 43 and we have pasted here that is viewblade.php and we need to change the layouts and the user interface guys so let me just update that okay here we go copy this complete body tag okay card body get back and you update that here all set and this is your shadow let me minimize this 
get back everything perfect so now guys we need to change this heading order details okay so here you'll paste your order not orders it's order details okay let's save and we can remove this we don't need this just control x and the last div of it we need to remove done guys all set and now let us check the output so guys now let's view perfect so here you see admin orders and order id 6 get back to your web.php and copy and paste here let's give curly brace order id you get this and then you go to your show function so let's get back to our order controller and create a show function so function the function name will be show and the type is going to be int and the variable we are getting order id okay and then guys we need to just find the data let me copy from above and paste here and first let's change this variable to order instead of orders and then we don't need all this just remove and use a where condition where the id and the order id copy this and paste here and then remove this pagination and get the first record from that all set so now guys you need to check whether the order exists or not it is true or not else return and redirect back okay find the order you are going to view the order and this is going to be at view else you are going to return and redirect where on admin forward slash orders as simple with the message with message the message is going to be like order id not found and now you get this order variable inside your order view blade here you see all your order details okay and here you see guys one back button is there and the url is admin forward slash orders okay now you see for your user details so if you want to know how this code is working please watch out the part 43 and now you go to the order items you get all the items same details we are going to update here nothing we are going to change okay all the total calculation also is done now you get back and just refresh this you get your data perfect done guys so now guys let's continue next video with the new topic so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share